Please, who can take this?
I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. I've recorded the personal details. Everything okay so far? Hello, Mr. Wurzel. I need to ask you about the accident. Hello. Yes, please go ahead. So, from your point of view, how did the accident happen? I was driving along as normal. I make this journey several times a week, and I always inspect the cargo before driving. As always, everything was in perfect shape. I don't know why, but suddenly there was a loud bang behind me, and I saw that I was losing my logs. I braked immediately to avoid making matters worse. Then I looked in my rearview mirror and saw that there had been an accident. But if everything's in order, things like this don't happen. I can't explain it either. Try anyway. No, I'm sorry. Like I've already said, everything was in order this morning. Well, I think this needs further investigation. I'm going to take a look around. I'll be right back with you. Go right ahead. May I ask you a few questions? Do what you must. Thanks. Very kind. Could you please describe the accident for me? Yes. First, the lorry up there lost a log. And then the car in front of me braked far too quickly. So quickly that I wasn't able to stop in time, and I rear-ended the lady. What do you mean by braked far too quickly? Well, it really wasn't necessary. Then I wouldn't have driven into her. You are following too closely. It's as simple as that. You always have to maintain a safe distance so you can brake in time. I was not following too closely. Well, we have witnesses that contradict your statement. Plus, we have a lot of cameras here on the Autobahn. If you did something wrong, we'll find out anyway. Well, um... Well, maybe I got a bit too close sometimes. But I was also in a big hurry. You are aware that that's no excuse, I hope. Yes, of course I'm aware of that. And I am sorry. Let's hope this will be a lesson to you. Please make sure you maintain a safe distance in future. Anyway, you'll be hearing from us by post, and you will be held accountable. Hello, Mrs. Freitag. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I wanted to ask you some questions, but it looks like you're in shock. What you're feeling is perfectly normal. You've done nothing wrong. You think so? I'm not here to make any judgments, but I can assure you, you reacted absolutely correctly. Thanks. That's very reassuring. 
So, take a deep breath. May I ask you a few questions? I'll keep it short. Yes, of course. Could you perhaps tell me how the lorry in front of you lost its load? I can't really say much. It just came out of nowhere. It was a loud noise and the first log had already hit the road. I was only just able to react and brake in time. Thank goodness. Ah, I see. Tell me about the rear end collision. I came to a standstill just in front of the log and then suddenly there was a loud crash behind me. The car behind ran straight into me. I'd noticed it a few minutes before because it had been so close to my tail. Okay, that seems to stack up. Thank you very much, Mrs. Freitag. But you should let the paramedics treat you for the shock and any possible whiplash injury. I will do. I'm going to take a look around. I'll be right back with you. Go right ahead. Take a look at this. The lashing straps are torn and clearly far too old. There's nothing perfect about them. Oh, you have no idea. It's always the driver. All right, enlighten me. So far, you've gone on record as saying that the load was properly secured. Are you sticking with that? No, it wasn't. Of course, I check the load before every trip, but our haulage company is doing so badly that corners are being cut everywhere, even on small things like the straps. I didn't picture the job of a long-distance lorry driver being like this. I understand. You're really not in the best position. But it's not okay for innocent road users to suffer. You and the haulage company will have to answer for this. 